Why you wanna let me go? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an ultimate clean with me. I'm going to be cleaning out my Keurig coffee maker. So I'm going to show you my routine for that as well as cleaning my whole house. I filmed this over a span of several days. So it's got a lot of cleaning motivation in it. I also made a meal that turned out to be delicious. It's definitely going to be something that I make again because it was really good and it was super easy and I made it in the crock pot, which is always a win. So if you want to see how I made that and and you need some cleaning motivation then definitely stay tuned and if you are new please hit that subscribe button it's totally free for you and it just helps to support my channel my Keurig it's been way too long I'm not even gonna tell you how long it's been because it's embarrassing but that's okay if you're like me and you don't clean it regularly then you know you're not alone so I normally or at least last time that I cleaned it and the times before I use vinegar to clean it I've showed that in a video before it works but the only thing is is it's very time consuming because you have to run several cycles through to get that vinegar smell and taste out of the machine so I broke down and bought some coffee machine um, descaler from Amazon. It came in a two pack and I think each bottle does is supposed to do two cleanings. Um, we are going to look and see. It removes mineral buildup. Um, it's, it is compatible with the Keurig. Ensure that the water reservoir and coffee pod grind slot are completely empty. Remove any water filtration mechanisms. Um, pour a half a bottle. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this will be four. I can do four times with this. So I'm going to be cleaning the outside of it, washing the tank, descaling it, and then putting a new filter in. And I will link this and the filters in the description box for you. But I figured I would just film this and we'll kind of clean it together and you can see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I took the old charcoal filter out of the tank and then I'm putting half a bottle of the descaler solution in per what the instructions said and then filling it up with water and I believe it said to run it through three different cycles. So I just fill it with this one time and then I run that tank and then just water the next two and run that through. And then um, I'm going to replace that charcoal filter. I will try to remember to link the descaler and the charcoal filters that I use. I get them from Amazon. But I will try to remember to link those. But I'm just showing you here all of the stuff that it got out during the, just that first one and it did that probably the whole first tank it kept getting little coffee grounds and stuff out of the coffee maker which was pretty gross and I definitely don't clean this as often as I should so here is your reminder to clean your coffee maker if you haven't done it recently but this is a super easy way to do it but I'm gonna dive dive into you and maybe I'll drown And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we were both so the instructions on these little charcoal water filters say to soak it for, I think it said, I can't even remember now. It might even said right there on the package. I can't remember, but I know I was supposed to soak it for a little bit. So that's what I was doing here. And then you're supposed to rinse it and then you insert it into the coffee machine. 
So I'm also taking out all of these little parts because it gets really, really gross in here. And if you're doing this for the first time, be really careful because there is that little needle at the top there that pokes the hole in your K-cup. And I wouldn't want anyone to stab themselves because it is sharp. So just be really careful. But I'm just taking those parts out. They just pop right out. And I'm just washing everything in my sink with hot soap and water. It's only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die Dive you And I apologize for the angle I was using my phone and I wasn't able to see And I kind of messed up there So I'm sorry, I could have gotten a little bit better angle Of me washing that, but I'll get better so yeah, I'm just taking a toothbrush here and scrubbing all of the little nooks and crannies. I hate cleaning this part of the Keurig. This is the part that is no fun at all, but it's really not that hard. It comes right out. I just do not enjoy it. And then I had a little black spot on the outside. I don't know what that was, but I got it off with a magic eraser. It came right off. Okay, so now I'm just putting everything back together. I wiped down the outside and now it is all nice and clean. It didn't take me long at all, but it was definitely overdue. So now it's ready for somebody to drink some fresh coffee and it won't be me because I really don't drink coffee. <laughs> So I'm going to do some laundry. My goal is to wash, dry, fold, and put away all of these today. So <laughs> let's hope I can get it done. But I wanted to show you my new hamper that I got from TJ Maxx. It's by this brand and um, it was $19.99. They had one that was one size smaller. It was just a little bit smaller than this and it was $16.99. But I went with a ginormous one because if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, laundry is not my strong suit. I do not do well with laundry. So, um, I got the ginormous one to help me out a little bit, but I'm so excited because it's beautiful. I think that it matches like my decor so well. So I'm going to take everything from my old hamper, wash it. And then when it's clean and dry and clean, I'm going to throw it in here and then fold it all. So I'm going to also share with you guys my favorite um, laundry products. So let's get started. So I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I had every intention of folding this laundry on the same day, but I do have a newborn son. If you're new, um, he's only seven weeks old. And I have two other kids as well, and my husband is deployed, so it's just me and the three kids, and I'm just trying to do all of the things, and I was not able to get the laundry folded on this day. In fact, I wasn't able to get it folded at all. It is still sitting in my laundry basket, and I believe it's been five days now. But it's okay. I'm not going to be hard on myself because I've got a lot of other things done, and my kids are cared for. Their clothes are clean. My clothes are clean. They're just not folded and put away. 
it is what it is. Maybe one day I will have it all together and I will be able to get my laundry done in one day. But today is definitely not the day. But I have to get the baby laundry done in one day because he goes through it. So I'm just folding his laundry. It's a lot easier. I can do it a lot quicker than doing like mine. But yeah, anyways, I was also showing you my products there that I use. Those are my favorite products that I use for our laundry. So if you were curious, um, you could take screenshots of them or whatever you want to do. But those are like my tried and true. Love them. I had a fussy baby so I decided to go ahead and baby wear him and he did end up falling asleep in here. It was really difficult to switch out the laundry with him because I obviously didn't want to bend over and hurt him so I was having to bend over at a really weird angle while also like shaking or like bouncing so that he would be content but he did end up falling asleep in there so that is good. Now I'm just washing my cleaning rags and I just throw them all in on, I have a sanitize cycle on my washing machine and I use the Lysol laundry sanitizer and then just my regular detergent and I run it through the sanitize cycle, which is like the longest, hottest cycle. And then I put them in the dryer on that sanitize cycle, which is also the longest, hottest cycle that my dryer has. And that's how I clean my cleaning rags. So this is the next day. And I'm just straightening up, tidying up around the house. And I'm also going to make dinner because my mother-in-law came into town and I wanted to have dinner when she got there. So I'm going to show you how I made it. It was super easy and super delicious. I highly recommend trying it. So my six-year-old daughter is like a complete tornado. She wrecks my house. She destroys it in a matter of minutes. She brings toys, plays with them for five minutes, leaves them on to the next thing, drags stuff all over my house every single day. Does anyone else have a child like that? If you do, let me know in the comments. It drives me insane, but I try to like understand that at least she's playing and using her imagination and she's happy and like all the positive things about it. I try to tell myself, but I can't help, but it drives me insane. But I am having her help me pick up things and usually she does a really good job of that. Um, so she's just picking everything up. We have a basket that we keep at the bottom of the stairs and she puts everything in that basket um, that goes upstairs and then once a week if not more but at least once a week they will empty it her and my older daughter they will empty it and put everything where it goes whether it needs to go into the basement or upstairs um, but on this day I was having her take stuff just straight upstairs so stuffed animals and things like that she was putting up she was putting up her arts and crafts because she loves to color so she was putting that up in the art cabinet and she was doing all the things to help me and she was also playing outside with her bug catching kit and catching bugs. So that's what she was up to. And then Henry 
was getting fussy in his swing. He woke up from his little nap, so I went ahead and put him in his carrier, and he loves to be in here. It makes things a little bit harder for me to do with him in there, but at least I can get things done, so I don't mind at all. So that is what we're doing here, and I'm going to explain in just a minute but we are getting a new couch. It'll be delivered Thursday. So the day after this video goes live, I'll be getting my new couch. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to definitely head over there because that will be the first place that I share it, but I will definitely share it on my channel too. And hopefully next week, that's the plan anyways. Okay, so my living room is all tidied up and clean, and now I'm going to show you my new wreaths that I got from my friend Yasenia. She makes these on her Etsy shop, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I ordered two of them, and I absolutely love them. I'm showing you in detail here. She put some lavender in there and some cotton stems. Oh, they are just so beautiful for the spring and summertime. So I'll link her Etsy shop in the description if you're interested. She makes all kinds of different ones. These were custom. I showed her what I wanted, like from Pinterest, like an idea of what I wanted, and she made it come to life and even better. Detail. I won't judge you as you know. So I have some toys back here that are Kensley's that she plays with. Um, actually, I told her to put that stuff away, and I'm just now seeing that she just shoved it back here, so that's not good. <laughs> we have a toy room in the basement. She's supposed to take her toys down there. Um, but I do let her leave, like, this dollhouse up here because she plays with it. Um, and then she has this little cart that she <laughs> zooms around on. And we just kind of put them back here because it's kind of hidden behind the couch. But what I'm thinking that I'm going to do... Today, I just thought of it while I was cleaning, is I want to get like a big um, round basket and use that for toys because he's going to have toys soon enough up here as well. And then I can put the toys in a little basket back there and they'll be hidden away and um, but they'll still be up here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I also have some storage in here because I don't really have anything in this entertainment cabinet. As you can see, it's pretty much empty. Something that can be stuck in there. But I want to get some baskets to put in there. And I can also put toys in there. Because they don't like to go down in the basement by themselves. They're scared. <laughs> so I think, hi Tucker. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got to find some good baskets for in here. To put some toys and things in and then I want to find like a big basket to put back there but I wanted to tell you we did order a sectional that is coming we ordered it from Ashley furniture and it goes like this and it has a recliner here I believe here here and here I believe it has four recliners in it it's pretty big I'm really excited about it because we've we've had these couches for um, seven, eight years now, and I still love them. They're in great shape. Absolutely love them. They're going to a friend of ours that I know is going to take good care and love them as much as I do. They're kind of sentimental to me because I've just had them for so long and I'm weird like that. I would not get rid of them if it wasn't for the fact that we just need more seating. When we all want to watch a movie, we're all crammed on this couch with the dogs and there's just not enough room. And then when we have company, he comes, my husband comes from a really big family. So when his brothers come and their wives and kids, there's just not enough room. So we wanted to get a sectional so we would have more room and it would be more comfy for a family movie night. So that's coming in, I think, a week and a half. Um, so that's going to change things too. So I might wait until then to do any basket shopping, at least for over there. I definitely want to get some for this entertainment center, but, um, I might wait until then to see like how things go. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm afraid that this isn't going to fit. Well, I think this will fit, but I think that's probably going to have to go. And if that's the case, I might just use that for toys behind the couch. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, I'm thinking out loud. We'll get through it together. I will show you guys the new couch as soon as it gets here and like what I end up doing, how I end up arranging things and whatnot. As you can see too, my Easter stuff is still out. I haven't had a chance to put it up. I got to do that soon. I don't have a whole lot of things, just a few little bunnies like this little guy. Um, and then I got these cute, cute little rain boots. 
at TJ Maxx, and I absolutely love them in my little tray here. I think they're so pretty. So I did switch that bunny that had a carrot in the back for these. Hi, Tucker. Hi, bud. Everybody loves you. Can you say hi, YouTube? So anyways, um, now I'm going to go clean the kitchen and get that done. Now that he was asleep in the baby carrier and I wanted to get dinner started, I went ahead and laid him down in his little baby lounger that I got from Amazon. I'll try and remember to link it as well. Um, I did share this in my newborn fave. So if you haven't seen that, that was last week's video. It is up on my channel and I'm just sharing all of my favorite things that we use um, that I've been loving for the last seven weeks. So I do lay him down on his tummy for nap time sometimes when I'm right there and I can monitor him because he loves lying on his belly. So I'm just laying him there and he took a good little nap for me so I was able to get dinner in the crock pot. I'm also putting on the TV some white noise. I found this one. He loves it. It's just white noise and it's like 10 hours long. So I just put that on the TV and play it and it kind of drowns out all of the other stuff going on in the house and it helps him to take longer naps. So I use Indust on my stainless steel appliances. I've done this for years. It's the best that I have found. It does amazing. It shines it up and makes it look brand new. So if you haven't tried using Indust on your stainless steel, you should totally try it. Let me know. I've had so many people come back and say, oh my gosh, this is life changing. It does such a good job. Okay, so for the recipe, you're just going to need some chicken breast, some shredded cheddar cheese, bacon bits, cream cheese, and ranch um, seasoning, the powdered kind in the packet. So I'm just putting in the chicken breast and I cut up the cream cheese. I put that in there and I sprinkled the ranch seasoning in there and the cheddar cheese and the bacon bits and I put it on low and I cooked it for, I can't even remember how many hours, but however many hours it takes um, to get the chicken done. So like four or five hours, I think. Um, it might've been more like five hours on low. If you needed to cook faster, obviously put it on high. But it was so tasty and I totally forgot in the chaos of my life to film it when it was done. But it was so good. My 13 year old daughter loved it so much that she ate all of the leftovers. So that's saying a lot because normally she won't eat leftovers. Um, so I just made this and then I added in um, for sides we did a box of mac and cheese for the kids because you know and then obviously myself as well because who doesn't love mac and cheese right but um and then I did broccoli and I just boiled the broccoli and seasoned it um and then I did a side I was trying something new and I didn't end up loving it it wasn't terrible and it might have been the flavor of what I'm about to tell you and not actually what it was, but I don't know. It wasn't terrible. I ate all of it, but it wasn't the best. And it was mashed cauliflower, but it was in the sour cream and chive flavor. And so I don't know if it was the sour cream and chive flavor I didn't like, or if it was the mashed cauliflower. So I won't say that it's bad. If you want to try it, you definitely should try it. I just, I don't know. It just kind of had a little bit of a weird flavor to me. 
So that's what I did for sides. You can, of course, do whatever you want for sides, but um, I think next time I'm just going to do regular mashed potatoes just because I didn't really care for the mashed cauliflower. But that's what I did. Super simple and easy dinner. Everybody loved it, and it was pretty healthy, too. Again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Baby, just give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Okay guys, if you made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. And also you can let me know in the comments if you're new here so I can say hello. Um, I am trying my best <laughs> to keep getting this content out for you guys. Sometimes I'm not doing cleaning content. Sometimes it's easier for me to do something else. And I've been kind of experimenting with that and seeing how it goes. I want to do some shopping related content coming up in the future just because that's things that I enjoy watching. So like Dollar Tree, um, I just did an Amazon, like my Amazon faves and that went really well. So if you haven't seen that, that's on my channel. You can go look for that. That was really fun for me, but I'm just going to kind of experiment with some things because cleaning the whole house and filming and editing these videos takes a long time. And right now time isn't something I have a lot of. So, um, if you guys are excited about that, definitely let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions for things you'd love to see, you can let me know in the comments as well. Um, cause I really want to put stuff out there that, you know, you guys want to see. So let me know. Anyways, I will see you guys in next week's video and thanks again for watching and thank you again for supporting my channel. Bye guys. Oh,